In the year 2035, sales of new gas-powered cars will be banned. The California Air Resources Board approved that policy earlier this afternoon. KTV's Tom Vakar is joining us now with more on what this will mean for all of us who drive here in California. It's a very big deal. You know, with California producing less than just 1% of the world's greenhouse gases, this rule is more about setting an example worldwide. The Air Resources Board voted that by 2035, no more internal combustion engine cars can be sold in California. This very aggressive, technologically difficult goal will transform the auto industry. California has long been a leader in the zero emission vehicle or ZEV marketplace, pushing for advancement and deployment of ZEV technology for over 30 years. This is another way in which California is pushing the rest of the country and the rest of the world to reduce greenhouse gases rapidly. Automakers see the writing on the wall. If the industry is fully committed to electrification. We have invested hundreds of billions of dollars or will invest hundreds of billions of dollars. We can build electric vehicles. We have aggressive plans to sell EVs. In fact, the goal for us is to have 100% of our fleet to be electric by 2030. The California rule would also allow after 2035 that one in five of sales could be plug-in gasoline battery hybrids. Zero emissions is a very tall technological mountain to climb. It looks like we're not going to be able to achieve it. There's going to be some flexibility. I suspect they are going to end up suspending the very large penalties that they're otherwise envisioning. While the hearing in Sacramento went on, a convention in Richmond about how the city will become carbon free through hydrogen. The cornerstone, Chevron's Richmond refinery will produce larger volumes of hydrogen fuels, excellent low or no carbon fuels for heavy trucks, industry, ships, aviation, and fuel cell cars. That would directly compete with battery-powered cars. Chevron Richmond is committed to providing affordable and ever cleaner energy to fuel their lives and to do that safely. Now, the State Office of Administrative Law will review it to make sure it will not conflict with existing laws, which it will not. And the EPA must grant a waiver, which it has done time and time again on other similar pollution standards. Tom Vakar, KTVU Fox 2 News.